Hi, I'm Ron. And I'm Don. And this is the Ron and Don Show, coming to you today in a little bit different format because Don and I are going to walk you through an explanation, a greater explanation, of capital. Our most engaging episode was episode four, which was repair versus replacement. And we had some uh, questions on it. So we're gonna go in and, and do it by the numbers. Capital by the numbers, let's get started. All righty. What do we got, Ron? Well, let's take a scenario. Let's say a restaurant's got a nine-year-old air conditioner, and I've made some notes here for myself. That nine-year-old air conditioning unit needs a repair. Right. It doesn't matter what it is, but it, the repair is going to cost $3,000. Okay. So in the repair section, let's go ahead and note that we're going to spend $3,000 in the individual repair, which is going to come through as $3,000 by the quarter, assuming there are no other repairs. Right. And then let's just, for simple, simplicity's sake, assume it's $3,000 for the entire year. Well, it's going to carry through that $3,000. All the way so, to the so, end so of the, the year. Effect, even if we have more repairs later on, this repair is going to affect the year Perfect. and the quarter by $3,000. Perfect. So that, we know that. So at the end of that repair, assuming nothing else happens, how do we tally this box? Well, we kind of need to know what the, what the uh, depreciation is on that piece of equipment and, and the write-off and all that kind of stuff, just to do some analysis. And since the, our depreciation is what? Well, we've got $2,100 left on the books for that nine-year-old piece of equipment. And that's assuming it was being replaced at the very beginning of the year and you have one year left yeah. to book Yeah, so we've got to make some basic assumptions to show basically how the formulas work here. So you're gonna, you have, at the end of this year, it'll be zero write-off, but right now, it's book value and the write-off for the entire year, what's left of it, is gonna be $2,100. Correct. And the quarterly write-off would be $525. So in review, a $3,000 repair, and remember, we're doing a repair versus replace analysis. So we want to get all the data in the repair side of this thing so we can make an informed decision. So $3,000 in repair in the quarter carries over to the year. Depreciation over the entire year of $2,100 means it's $525 per quarter. And this will get us down to uh, $3,525 for the total expense, what's going to hit the expense line of the P&L. And what's it going to be for the year? Well, it looks like it's going to be around 5100 doesn't it? Is my math right on that? Okay, we're so, there. So that is, in most restaurant managers, are bonus on what their bottom line is going to be. And so we know what the expense effect will be of that repair. Now, if we're going to replace a unit... Let's use some numbers. We aren't going to have any repair costs. Right. So that's zero, right? So let's assume that we're replacing that with a like type of equipment and if the total replacement cost is $22,000. And we're going to depreciate that over 10 years. Over 10 years. Okay, so no repair cost in the replacement scenario, but what we do have, and we have to make some basic assumptions, we've got a replacement cost of $22,000. So if that's to be depreciated over a 10 year period, that's $2,200 per year or one-fourth of that, which would be $550 per quarter. So that's going to be the effect of this piece of equipment in a replacement scenario over a 10-year period of time, which is considered the life of this piece of equipment. Now, we still have this piece of equipment on the books for $2,100, and because it's being replaced, it has to be written off in, the, in that cycle. So you're going to have a write-off of $2,100 in that quarter because it has to... That's when it's happening. That's when it's happening. And it all has to be done then, and it's going to be the same thing for the year. So what our net effect here is, we're going to come down to $2,650, and we're going to come down to $4,300, uh, right? Yep. So, so compare. If, you in, if you're looking at this, if your restaurant is 
and your company are in the positive cash flow, particularly the, the company, the best e effect of this is your replacement because the cost basis, you can see you're actually affecting the bottom line of the restaurant and the company less by doing the replacement, both in the quarter and the year. And this will have less effect on the bonuses of the manager, so they'll like it. You're getting a new warranty with the, the piece of equipment. You're getting a long time life out of that piece of equipment. Now, if your restaurant is cash negative, cash flow negative, or excuse me, being, you know, you're going to be losing the lease in a few years or a few months, you're going to do this as cheap as you can because you aren't going to want to buy a piece of equipment and then write off all of that a year later, that $20,000 write off. No, you're just going to you're just going to keep it going. Or if the company is cash negative, cash flow negative, and maybe coming out of bankruptcy or whatever, and you're doing EBITDA, then this doesn't apply. But for a positive cash flow, this applies, and you can see how it works. And you just set up a little schedule, and you you then can talk to restaurant management, middle management, and operations, as well as facilities, and say. Our best cash, excuse me, our best accounting method, effective, the bottom line, is the replacement in that case. Now, there are two assumptions here and two arguments that need to be made. This is a static model. This shows at this point in time and at this point in time only. So it can be argued on one side of the fence that this scenario is an expense that happens one time, one quarter, and you're done. This scenario, this happens quarter after quarter after quarter for the next 10 years. But the difference or the counter to that argument is this is a nine-year-old piece of equipment. Do you really think nothing else is going to happen to it? This is a brand new piece of equipment, which means you shouldn't see scenarios like this for some time to come. And you have a warranty. And you have a warranty. There's another situation that has happened as a result of the tax law that's now a year old, that if you, it's only companies that are making extraordinary cash flow would really look at, but it's something that you should be aware of. If, for example, you're going to use a new tax code replacement. Which is accelerated depreciation. Exactly. What you're going to basically end up with is you're going to buy that new piece of equipment and you are not going to depreciate it at all. It's not going to hit a depreciation line at all. So you're going to put $22,000 right off the bat. And you're going to still have to do the write-off of your old piece of equipment. Which is over here. Well, it's $2,100. Right. So your net effect here, it gets kind of exciting. Uh, 24-1. Yeah, I was going to say it's 24-1 on both of them, if I remember three. right. Yeah, 24-1. And that number right there would scare the daylights out of a lot of managers because that would be against their profits of their restaurant for that quarter and that would wipe out their bonus. So if these where a company has extraordinary cash flow going and they want to use this new method, there's probably something in place for a budget adjustment for this situation because they're taking full advantage of the new law. I, you know, the, a budget adjustment would probably be needed for the bonus consideration. But it has a positive effect for restaurants that really are putting a lot of money to the bottom line. We wanted to present these static models because we heard so much great feedback from our first episode we did on capital, which was repair versus replace. So if you have additional questions or want to offer any insight or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you. Please email us. I'm Ron. I'm Don. Thanks for joining us today. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.